Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing some magazine collage using some dilution sprays in the background, um, which I don't use very often on this channel. So I decided that I was going to use my sprays because they've been sitting beside me for years and I get them out occasionally, but I don't use them very often and I hate having stuff that I don't use very often in my, my journals. So this was the day for it. So you can see I sprayed it on my page and I did a little bit of a print with some extra paper to get rid of the excess, um, which I haven't used yet. I actually found that in my stash today, so I will go back and use it. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the, the Dilutions inks. Please don't get me wrong. Um, I love the vibrancy of them. Um, they're just fabulous, and you can do these really cool ghost prints. So I just sprayed some water through and then rolled off the excess, so you've got that print of the stencil through it. The reason I struggle with it is because I love doing layers of stuff. Um, so because they are water activated, that becomes a bit of an issue for me personally. And the other reason is I'm really impatient. I like to work really quickly. So I was working on this page and it was still quite damp, even though I would um, hit it with a heat gun. Now these um, dyes, while they're still water activated, if I'd left that for a day or two, it would certainly be very dry to the touch, much easier to write over with paint pens, um, much easier to work with in lots of different ways. So um, if you are patient, um, they're a great medium to work with. And again, I absolutely adore the colours. They, they really speak to me. So um, please don't feel put off by them. Um, just because of the way I work, they're not things I work with very often, but they are still amazing products. So I'm going in now with the Dilutions collage um, sheets, which I love as well. And I really love this little figure. Um, I quite often, with that body, she's... Um, I usually put a chicken head on her because I just really like the com combination of it. And she's holding my um, kryptonite, which is a can of Coke, or um, in my case, Diet Coke, because um, I am addicted to it somewhat, which is uh, a bit worrying. So I'm going in with my paint pens to add some colour and detail. You'll notice around the washi tape border, um, which I put in, again, that was a really quick and easy border to do. I've got lots of washi tapes, so I like to use them up. Um, I think that one was designed by James Luke Burke Creative. It's an awesome one. Um, so doing borders in my book is a really easy way for me to use my journal, my washi tapes up. With the paint pens over the um, collage images, these collage images are printed on matte paper. So they're never, while they're really bright colours, they're never going to be quite as true as you know, obviously painting over them yourself. And you can see the contrast between sort of the black of the print versus the black of my paint pen going on. Um, so it gives you a really great way to put in some detail. Di Reevely has already done a lot of this doodling over the top of her images. So for those of you who are new to magazine collage, these are a really great way to start because there's a lot of stuff already done to them. And what you can do is you can get some paint pens or gel pens out over the top and add your own doodling or just trace over the top of first and just change the colour. But it gives you a bit of an idea of what you can do with magazine images. And when you get a little bit more confident, you can go to magazines yourself and then recreate your own designs using the same techniques that you've used. Um, with a lot of my doing this sort of stuff with my magazine collage, I do tend to only use a few paint pen colours. Usually there's a pink, a white and a black. Most often there's also a turquoise and maybe a yellow. So green was a little bit different but because I had the green in the background and I had the green of the hill, um, I wanted to use a green on this one instead. Now I'm going in with a quote and you can see I've pulled up one on Pinterest um, to write out and I quite often search my quotes on Pinterest. I like the way they're sort of arranged and you can sort of see them really really quickly. I write straight away with my paint pen which sometimes is a bit confronting for people because they think oh how do you do the spacing I just go with the flow if I run out of space I either write over the image um, or over the border as well it's not really precious to me because usually in these cases the quotes more important to me than the actual artwork even though I like the artwork and I had fun doing it it's usually the quote that 
um, is the reason why I sort of want to put it on my page. So you can see here I ran over room for the T, so I'm just going into the border, and that's fine. When I do write it out like this, I use a thin stroke on my um, paint pen to write it out and then I go back afterwards and thicken up the um, letters. So by thickening up the letters what that does is it allows me to fill in all those um, empty spaces so I can extend um, the strokes of the letters, widen them up so it looks like those letters are you know really carefully placed when in actual fact they're not. I've just sort of spaced them out and then I've filled in the space so it looks like they're, they're close and I've been um, cutting things very fine. Um, if you wanted to write these out with pencil first, so you've got a bit of an idea, probably a really good idea. Um, I just am very heavy handed with pencil, so I tend to leave a mic on my page which bu bugs me. Um, so I just go straight in with my paint pen. The other thing is, which isn't great on this page I have to say, is usually I'm working on acrylic paint or an acrylic painted surface so if I did make a spelling mistake I can usually wipe it away while it's still wet with a wet wipe. That would not work on this page because it's a dye based ink and um, yeah it's not going to wipe away anywhere because that would have sunk straight into the page so just be aware that because we are using a different medium in the background my usual tips and tricks with just wiping away the wet wipe isn't going to work in this case. So now I'm going in with my paint pen and doing a bit of a drop shadow. Now because I am working on a dye based background, I'm not actually putting the drop shadow in the background or next to my letter like I usually do. I'm actually drawing on top of the black um, and leaving a tiny little border around it which you'll see in the close up at the end. Um, and that's so my white stays white. If I'd drawn on the dye based background, um, it would have picked up the ink colour so I would have been constantly cleaning my white pen to get rid of the, the ink that it's sucked up and um, I wouldn't be getting a white line as well. So just be aware that if you are working on um, water reactive background like a dye ink or dye um, sprays, whatever you're working on, watercolours, you may have to draw over your paint pen rather than um, on the background itself. And I'm just going back in and putting my final touches and I did get the turquoise pen out in the end. Um, I don't know what it is about magazine collage, I think it's just because they're my favourite colours that um, I tend to just go for those ones um, when I'm doing these. Usually probably actually because they're out in my desk most often so they're the easiest ones to grab to. So you can see what I was talking about the um, drop shadow that's actually on top of the black rather than beside it so you can see how vibrant it is you can see that beautiful background so dye inks are amazing and you just get this gorgeous gorgeous um, background so I really suggest if you've got some get them out have a play with them um, don't sit them in the side like I've been doing they are worthwhile to get out and have a play with thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a go at doing a little spray ink and until next time, bye for now.